See, um, I, 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 you know, thanks for having me up here. By the way, I, I, I honestly, she looked so lovely dancing. I, I used to, I used to know a lot of dances. I, uh, I you know, I like the the uh, uh, Charleston. I knew the Charleston and the Lindy. There's the uh, the uh, what's it called? The uh, the Black Bottom. But I just I. I don't, I don't. I don't have time to dance anymore. I just. I have too much to do. You, know. you see, um, Harvey and I will sit around in bars. Yeah, you know, just from time to time, and we have a drink or or two, and and um, we look around at the other people in the bar, and, and their faces. They, they meet ours. And they smile. It's like like they're saying, you know. We, we, we don't know you, but uh, you seem like you're an all right fella. And and Harvey and I, we just kind of revel in those golden moments because we, we, we came into a place where we didn't know anyone, and pretty soon we have friends. And they sit with us, and they'll share a drink, and they'll share their hearts, and they'll tell us about all the terrible things they've done and all the great, big, wonderful things they're going to hope to do. They, they tell me of their fears and you know and their regrets and their hopes and their loves and they're all very big because n no, nobody brings anything small to a bar and uh, I, uh <laughs> and, and that's when I uh, I introduce him to Harvey and he's bigger and greater than anything they've ever seen and and, and they leave impressed and you know the same people rarely come back or chat again because I, well, well, it's just envy. And, it, and, and we all have some of that envy in us and, and, and that's, I guess, a shame. But, um, oh, all right, so his name's Harvey and uh, there's, there's kind of a uh, co coincidence about, about the name. Uh, see, uh, yeah. I, was, uh, I was walking down Ferguson uh, in between uh, 18th and 19th streets. You guys know the neighborhood? Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. And uh, I just finished putting uh, Ed Hickey into a taxi because uh, well, old Ed had been kind of mixing his rye and his gin. And well, he was, he, oh, no, that's rude. Um, I felt he could use conveying. And so, so I put him in the taxi and, and, I'm, and I'm walking down the street. <laughs> And that's when I heard someone say, good evening, Mr. Dowd. And I, I turned and looked, and there under the street lamp was a six-foot-tall rabbit. And that, it didn't really bother me or phase me. When you've lived in a town as, like, as long as I've lived in this one, you get used to people knowing your name when you don't know them. And uh, I walked over, and he, he said to me, he said, uh, you know, Ed Hickey looked like he was kind of a spiff there, if I'm not mistaken. And I, I turned and uh, I looked at him and I, I couldn't correct him because he was right. Ed was just um, spiffed. <laughs> and um, um, we, we chatted like that for a while, you know, me, me and him. And I eventually looked at him and I said, well, sir, you have me at a disadvantage. You seem to know my name, yet I, I, don't, I, um, I, I, don't, know, I don't know yours. And uh, he looked at me and said, well, what name do you like? And I didn't hesitate at all because uh, I, I, my, my, my favorite name's Harvey. And I, well, so, and I looked at him and I said to him, I said, Harvey. And um, that's, I, that's where the coincidence comes in because he looks at me and says, well, good. My name's Harvey. <laughs>